there doll collectors and doll lovers of everything doll related i hope everyone is doing very well i know the world is a crazy crazy time right now however as you saw in the thumbnail i want to bring a little bit of happiness to you guys and a little bit of joy unboxing this beauty she's the brand new lol omg doll from series 3 that was recently released and her name is Class Press. Before we begin, I just want to give a quick disclaimer, guys. I am an adult collector that loves everything doll related. Therefore, my channel is geared towards individuals who are adults or anybody over the age of 13 per YouTube guidelines. So if you are over the age of 13, feel free to keep watching. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified of my future videos. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I would really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and continue. She's absolutely gorgeous. You could definitely see in the shadow what she really looks like. She does come with 20 surprises that you can unbox and basically dress her up. The package does become a place which is awesome. And of course, this is from the Series 3 and you have her name on the bottom that says Class Press. She's the class president. On the right side of the box, you have her little sister. She says, hey sis. In the back of the box, you also have LOLOMG and of course, 20 surprises. And it says, OMG, we sisters slay all day. We strut fierce style like the divas we are and march to the beat of our own DJ. Making everything a little more outrageous, we stand out from the crowd and write our own set of rules because we're here to suppress the world. I love how sassy they are. And of course, in the bottom, you have the images of the other dolls. So you have Chillax, Class Press, which is the one we have right now, Roller Chick, which is the other one I also have, and then the boss. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find Chillax, so I'm not sure whether she's being released afterwards or what's going on with her, but she looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the packaging, and this is probably the least favorite part of mine. Just because sometimes it's really hard to remove this little plastic thing that is always taped up. So it says, Bibi, who is a smart, fierce, and keeps it 100, always raises her hand, goes for the extra credit. Of course she would, because she's the class president, so she has to be a super smart cookie. Okay, so here we have her. Of course, you have the fashions here to the left. And then you have her behind this drastic room, and then you have her little sister here that says, Strut your stuff. And then we open her up, and she is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of here so I can remove her from this plastic thing. There we go. Oh, look at that mirror. That mirror is a different shape, I think, from what the other ones are. And I think I'm going to go ahead and remove this also. Oh, that's cool. Look, it looks like a class. Okay, so taking a closer look at the inside of the box, you have a mirror here that kind of looks like it has some lighting around it. Of course, you have a closet hanger right here, a shoe box right there. On the side where the accessories were at, you have a clock. And then what looks like to be a locker with a few books notebooks and pictures and things like that super super cute there's also a chair in the bottom so you definitely have like that school setting which is really really cool i'm gonna go ahead and try to remove all the little plastic fasteners that it's holding the doll in place there we go she is so gorgeous so inside of the box, you will find a doll stand that says L-O-L-O-M-G on it. This is a color blue. I think I really like the blue. And then, of course, you have the little big part of it. And, of course, you have the little clipping thing. It also comes with this additional part to it, and I never used this. It came with a booklet that says OMG. And you have the other dolls. It also came with a brush. And then, of course, it also came with this shopping bag, Paper Surprise. And I accidentally opened it already, so I apologize for that, guys. But inside comes this adorable purse. I'm um, not sure if it's like a purse or a book bag, because it kind of does look like a book bag, but it kind of looks like a bucket purse. So I think it's absolutely cute. Um, I'm not too sure about the squares everywhere. I wish this would have been in like a solid white. 
but other than that i mean it's super super cute so you can see a whole bunch of different little shapes and colors you have squares you have triangles circles and a whole bunch of little swivel lines and then it comes with some pom-pom strings which i think is super cute and of course as you saw you could definitely close and open it as well as put things inside and then of course it comes with the strap and it looks like maybe the strap kind of like plugs in somewhere because it has this little thing right here so really cute overall okay guys so here's a closer look at the doll and of course right off the box i did have to fix her hair a little bit because it was a little bit messy but I was able to get the curls really defined, which I'm happy about. If we take a closer look at her hair, you can definitely see that she does have a braid on top, which I think is so, so cute. And she's wearing a pink rubber band ponytail or rubber band in her hair. Her curls are really defined after I fix them a little bit. So I love curly hair. Curly hair is definitely my favorite. I love the different tones of pink in her hair. You can definitely see there is some like hot pink in there, a little bit light pink. Some more cherry pink i love how they make similar hair tone to their hair because it gives it that extra oomph in my opinion and i definitely appreciate that a lot not only is her hair super soft and fluffy it is also very very long so if i pull down one of her curls you could definitely see that it goes all the way down to her ankles which is super super nice so taking a closer look at her face you could definitely see her makeup is pretty simple i do like it though she's wearing pink eyeshadow as well as pink lipstick she does have some freckles here and it looks like she does have some blush too behind the freckles which i think is super super cute however you can see that my doll does come with a defect you can see like black right here on top of her lid and you can see that her pink eyeshadow is not completely done on this eye so that's a bummer i really wanted her to be perfect but i guess it's not always possible so you can definitely see that there's some black here also and there is some defects right there too so it's just a printing error it looks like maybe some of the black from the lashes smudged there as well as in this eye so then as far as her skin tone i love this caramel skin tone that she has it's definitely one of my favorites she's wearing this really cute outfit that it kind of looks like it's really just the alphabet it, you can see on the neck portion of her shirt She's got like pound signs and then you go from A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But then you see like in the F part it says fears. And then it goes to JK, then LOL, then OMG. And then it says queen right here in the bottom. And it's got a whole bunch of exclamation points here on the bottom. I think it's so, so cute and so creative that they did that. And then her underwear has a whole bunch of at signs. And then it's got a bunch of numbers. So zero, one, two, three. Then we go down below to her socks and she's wearing knee high socks. I think they're so sporty and so cute. Very 90s in my opinion. They're also very soft. They are like elasticy material. So like a pantyhose material or dress sock material. Really nice. As far as like her outfit is also the same type of material. So it's very flexible. So in the back of the alpha, we could definitely see that it has Velcro in both the shirt and as well as in the underwear. You could also see in the back that it says slay and then talk to you later. And then it says work. <laughs> really work? <laughs> oh, that is too cute. Oh, another thing is I absolutely love this little detail here in the underwear. I think that gives it a little bit of sexiness and it's so, so gorgeous. It makes the whole outfit. You can definitely see that the... A lot of thought went into like even this shirt and this underwear. I think it's so, so cute with all the wording, the hidden messages behind. I wonder if you guys get different words. Let me know in the comments below if you get this doll and if you get different words. So as far as like the doll's body, of course she comes with the articulation on the arms. She's got the articulation of women here in the elbow. She has really awesome long pink nails. And of course, as far as like the legs, you can snap and bend the legs which thank you so much to the person that let me know that you can actually bend them so lastly we do have this items to unbox so let's take a quick look at them okay so it comes with this little fashion magazine that says fall 20 on it what's your star sign 
and then you open it up and it has her picture and it says she's a Capricorn. It says, if you feel like an equation that doesn't add up, then it's a sign you need a break, BB. December 22nd to January 20. Okay, so I guess if your birthday's between December 22nd and January 20, this is the doll for you. Okay, so I guess first up, I'm gonna go ahead and open the shoe box. As you can see here, it does say it's a she's a size six and a half. And I guess the type of shoe is Oxford's. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Ooh, look at this little tissue paper. It's so cute. It matches the box. So yeah, so here are the shoes and I love that they have a buckle that has the letter B's. So BB and then they looks like it has some glitter right here and I do not like this little design thing but um, I don't mind it as much because I think the buckles are really really nice. So obviously they have a platform. I love the stripes on the platform of the shoes. Really cute. We also got this other box, which also has LOL OMG. It's in the color blue, really nice. I really love how these boxes are really, really sturdy. They're not like a cheap plastic, they're pretty thick. So I love that for storing other things or storing the accessories back in the original boxes. Okay, and it comes in the same type of tissue paper. And we have a purse. Ooh, this purse is giving me Chanel vibes. Look at that. It has the letter BB on it. And then it has some sort of thing right here on the outside. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe a tag, a purse tag or something. I don't know. So it also has a chain or what looks like a chain in gold tone. Yeah, this is definitely giving me Chanel vibes. So yeah. So instead of a purse, I get it's a phone case that kind of looks like a purse because that would explain why this brought a phone. Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb. Anyways, you could obviously see it's 1234 on her phone and she's got half battery full because she's been talking and texting to everybody. So anyway, so it says, does the meaning match the text color? And then it says meaning teal pink text color. Yes, queen, no way. Um, I don't get it. Anyways, so yeah, so that's the cell phone. I mean, that's how it looks like in the screen part of it. And then in the back, you only have, I don't know what that's supposed to be. So yeah, I love this. This is super, super cute. I feel so dumb that I thought it was a purse. <laughs> but yeah, it's a phone case. That's supposed to be the camera for the camera spot for the phone. The other item we got was also a pair of glasses. And obviously they're, this type of glasses are trending. Also, I forgot to mention, this is like a kind of like a rubbery material, so it is kind of flexible, so it's not plastic. The glasses are plastic, though, so be careful not to break them. She comes with big hoop earrings. I think these earrings are so, so cool. So then we have two clothing items. This one looks like some sort of like notebook or something with a whole bunch of things highlighted and circled um, and maybe some grammar mistakes on it that need to be corrected. So I think that is super, super cute. It looks like this might be her skirt. Yep. So this is her skirt. So yeah, so here's her skirt. It does have the top portion of the skirt does have this black and white. It's really nicely made. We have this little part that goes in between her legs. It does have Velcro here. This one's also really cute. And then you have a whole bunch of paper airplanes. See, as a class president, she needs to make sure that she also has some fun sending those paper airplanes to her classmates. And then inside of this one, of course, you find her jacket. Yeah, I think um, this jacket is super, super cute, but it's definitely really looking like the same thing, the same outfit as the Uptown Girl, which I'm not a big fan of. I wish it was her outfit was a little bit different. Okay guys, so there you have her. I think she is so gorgeous regardless of all the imperfections. I think her hair is my favorite part of the whole doll, honestly. She is just so gorgeous. I love the curls in her hair and I love her skin tone i love the simple makeup on her i love the accessories she comes with that is my favorite part the only downside i would have to say is obviously all the imperfections she had in her face as well as some of the clothing items like the stitching that came loose on on her high knee sock and, and one last thing that i'm not a fan of is her outfit it's very similar to the uptown girls outfit which is a bummer i wish they would have done something different but i really do love her and i do not mind it I'm I'm so excited to have her in my collection. 
I'm really considering getting a second one. Hopefully it won't have the imperfections in her face painting. I did order some through Target.com, which should be coming in the mail next week. And I did order her again, but the reason why I have her is because I went to Target yesterday and found her and then Roller Chick. So I just couldn't wait until I got my, my older mail to my house next week, honestly. So I wanted to unbox them. So maybe this was a sign I should have waited till next week. But I really wanted to have her in my collection. It's kind of hard to find the LOL OMG dolls. They're very popular for anybody who want, who's collecting them. So so when they, when they put them in stock in stores, they sell like this. I wanted to go ahead and get her right away just in case something happened to my mail then order or something like that. So anyways, those are the chances. Those are the risks I took. Nonetheless, I'm excited to have her in my collection and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to also subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you can get notified of my future videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. You guys stay safe out there and I will see you next time. Adios. Yeah.